Hello students, welcome. Previously, lesson 17, form 222, we were dealing with trend in chemical properties of the elements in bureau 3, and we have done part A, that's reaction of bureau 3 elements with oxygen. So today, we want to go to lesson 18, where we are going to proceed to the second trend in chemical properties of elements in bureau 3, that is reaction of bureau 3 elements with water. And we are saying we are going to start with the first member of our bureau 3 elements which is sodium and we are saying sodium reacts violently with cool water to form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas let us remember we said when a metal is dissolved in water we form metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas so sodium balance water we get sodium hydroxide and also hydrogen gas to write the balance chemical equation, we are going to have two mole of sodium, which is solid. We are reacting, or we are going to add two mole of water, which is liquid. We are going to get two moles of sodium hydroxide, which is aqueous, and also one mole of hydrogen gas to balance the equation. So next, we go to the second element, that's magnesium. And we are saying magnesium reacts very slowly with cool water to form magnesium hydroxide and also hydrogen gas. To write the reaction, we are saying magnesium balance water, we get magnesium hydroxide and also hydrogen gas. This is the balance of the chemical equation. Magnesium solid will react with two moles of water, which is liquid, giving us one of magnesium hydroxide, aqueous, and also one of hydrogen gas. Next, we are going to see aluminium. And we are saying aluminium does not normally react with cool water or steam due to the presence of a coating of aluminium oxide, which prevents any reaction. However, at temperatures above 700 degrees Celsius, steam can react with aluminium. And we are told due to this apparent inability to react with water, aluminium was preferred for making cooking vessels such as buns and also sulfurous. And we are saying in general, the reactivity of the metals with water decreases from sodium to aluminium. That means sodium, next is magnesium, next is aluminium. That's the reactivity of the metallic elements of bureau 3 so I say sodium is more reactive because it loses it is valence electron more readily more readily than magnesium and aluminum that means sodium is having a higher tendency of losing it is valence electrons when compared to magnesium and also aluminum next we're saying non metals do not displace hydrogen from water Therefore, silicon, phosphorus, and also sulfur do not react with either cool water or steam. And we say alcohol is unreactive. So chlorine is an exception since it dissolves in water to form chlorine water, which is a mixture or a combination of hydrochloric acid and also chloric acid. So to write that reaction, chlorine plus water, we get chlorine water, which is a mixture of hydrochloric acid and chloric acid or hypochlorous acid. So remember we said you can write chloric one acid like this or you can write it like this the two are just one and the same so next we are going to see the third that's reaction of uh, bureau three elements with dilute acids we start with sodium we are saying the reaction between sodium and dilute acid is explosive hence should never be tried or attempted for if we want to write the reaction between sodium metal with hydrochloric acid, although we are told you should not never attempt it or try it, we are going to see we are going to get sodium chloride and also hydrogen gas. We balance it by putting two, two, two on each side except the hydrogen side. Then we are going to have sodium reacting with sulfuric six acid. We are going to get sodium sulfate and also hydrogen gas to balance this equation. We are going to put two in the side of sodium metal only. Next, we are going to proceed to magnesium metal. And we are told magnesium reacts with both hydrochloric acid and dilute sulfuric six acid to form a salt and also hydrogen gas. Remember, when a metal reacts with dilute acid, we form salt and hydrogen gas as our only products. So magnesium plus hydrochloric acid, magnesium chloride plus hydrogen gas. This is the balance of the chemical equation. One magnesium salt reacts with two of hydrochloric acid, giving us one magnesium chloride aqueous and also one hydrogen gas. So magnesium plus sulfuric six acid, we get magnesium sulfate plus hydrogen gas, and this reaction is self-balanced. We are going to have one magnesium solid reacting with one sulfuric six acid, which is aqueous, giving us one magnesium sulfate solution and also hydrogen gas. Next, we are going to proceed to aluminium, and we are saying aluminium does not readily react with dilute acids due to the presence of an aluminium oxide coating. However, 
on removing the oxide coating the metal reacts that mean aluminium reacts with dilute acids that's dilute hydrochloric acid and also dilute uh, sulfuric acid we are going to see the reactions or the equations we are saying aluminium plus hydrochloric acid we get aluminium coated and also hydrogen gas this is the balanced chemical equation next aluminium plus sulfuric acid we get aluminium sulfate plus hydrogen gas and this is the balanced chemical equation for that reaction next we are going to proceed to the nonmetal side we are saying silicon phosphorus sulfur and chlorine do not react with dilute acids because they cannot displace hydrogen from the acid and last we are saying argon is unreactive therefore it's not going to react with dilute acids so table 2.14 gives a summary of reactions of elements of bo3 with air that's oxygen water and also dilute acids so let us see that table and this is the table that we are talking about the elements that we found in bo3 elements were eight we don't have argon because argon is unreactive remember so we're having only here seven that is from sodium or from sodium all the chlorine sodium magnesium aluminium silicon phosphorus sulfur and also chlorine reaction with air or oxygen this is what will happen you can do it on your own number two is reaction with water you see it it is here then lastly it's reaction with dilute acids which we have discussed it in our lesson today so learners that's the end of our chapter two thank you for watching